Hello, my name is Robert Keller. I am the owner of the company which finishes and renovates buildings. I know that professional construction work requires both the right working technique and best products. For many years, I've been relying on using Ceresit products in my construction and renovation projects. Ceresit portfolio is full of advanced and easy-to-use solutions. Each time I have used Ceresit products, I was very happy with the final result. Now, Ceresit offers even more. That is the professional support for anyone who wants to achieve perfect results. Watch our short video that will help you to work fast and efficiently. Due to permanent contact with water, industrial showers are just very demanding areas. In this case, the effective waterproofing is vital. Poor hydro isolation may result in tiling job failures, leaks and the costly repairs. So, what needs to be done? As always, we start our work with substrate preparation. Cleaning, leveling and priming. Then, it's time to put insulation products. Ceresit offers sealing tapes and films, waterproofing elements to be used around the pipes, and also protective mats for walls and floor. When substrate is prepared, you can start tiling. The next step is grouting. The last thing is sealing. Now it is time to see how it is done, step by step. Of course, Ceresit has the right high-quality products you need in each step of installing a public shower room. Preparation. Here, the floor is already pre-prepared. It has a required screed slope towards the floor drains of a minimum 2% and the surface is free from dirt and dust. Thus, it is ready to be primed. To strengthen the surface and reduce the absorbency of the substrate, use the powerful Floor Primer Ceresit CN94. Apply and spread it with a paintbrush or a roller to avoid the formation of puddles. Let the primed surface dry for about 4 hours. Waterproofing. All surfaces must be protected by the application of a waterproof sealing system under the tiles. For demanding areas such as public showers, which are constantly exposed to contact with water, we recommend the alternative sealant Ceresit CL50. The product consists of two components. First, Pour the pasty component into a bucket. Then, add the powder component and stir with a slow rotating stirrer until the mixture is smooth. Start with critical areas around connections and pipes, protecting them with CL50 sealant and tape or collar. Place the sealing collar into the first layer and fully embed it with a second sealing layer of CL50. Remember, Work carefully to protect every inch of the surface. Edge joints, pipe entries, floor drains and room corners are especially important. Make sure that they are properly insulated. Apply the waterproofing system all along the floor and wall joints using the flexible sealing tape. Before, place the tape into the first layer of Ceresit CL50 and cover it with a second sealing layer. That is not all. Walls and floor, which are exposed to moisture, must be fully covered with waterproofing membrane. 
Only this protection will assure a perfect and long-lasting effect. Again, use the alternative sealant CL50. Apply it with a brush, performing horizontal movements. To achieve an efficient waterproofing, two layers of CL50 should be applied. Let the surfaces dry for two to three hours. You will notice a change in its color and then apply the second sealing film, this time performing vertical movements. Also, the floor must be sealed with two layers of CL50. The first layer should be applied with a brush, the second with the brush or a towel. This way, all substrate pores will be filled in and the adhesion of the insulating coating improved. Remember to let the first coat dry for a minimum of six to eight hours before working on the second layer on the floor. Approximately six to eight hours after application of the second coat, the public shower room is seamlessly sealed with a reliable waterproofing and ready to get tiled. Tiling. For tiling, it's best to start with the walls. For this, prepare Cerisit CM17 elastic adhesive mortar. Apply the mortar with a suitable notched trowel and press the tiles into the mortar. The mortar coverage, in other words, the contact area at the back of the tile, must be at least 65%. Keep an equal distance between tiles and make sure they are level. Remember to leave out the last row of tiles on the walls. This should be done after the tiles on the floor are applied, so the wall tiles can be fitted in perfectly. Now you can tile the floor. For this purpose, prepare Cerisit CM90 flexible adhesive mortar. Apply the mortar on the floor using a suitable notched trowel. and place the tiles by pressing them into the mortar. When the adhesive has dried and the tiled floor is ready to step on, apply the missing tiles on the bottom row of the wall. When the tile adhesive is sufficiently set, you may start grouting. First, clear the joints from any remaining bits of mortar with a flat spatula and a brush. The flexible grout Cerisit CE40 Aquastatic is dedicated especially for bathrooms, showers and other places in contact with moisture. Remember to use the correct mixing ratio with water and observe a 3-minute maturing time during mixing. Completely fill the joints. After the grout has started to set, which can be tested with a finger, emulsify the grout on the surface by wiping it in circular movements with a wet sponge and little water. The second cleaning is best done with diagonal movements and clean water. Now you can move to the floor. Again, start with clearing away any remaining bits of mortar from the gaps between tiles. It's important to choose the right grout. In case of public showers which are permanently wet and often treated with strong cleaning agents, highly resistant product should be used. 
here we can recommend Ceracid to component epoxy fillers. Thanks to their water and chemical resistance, this is a perfect choice. Prepare the chemically resistant Ceracid CE79 epoxy grout. the liquid component into the paste. Mix and add the coloring pigments CE80 Ultrapox mix. Complete the task with the final thorough mixing. One more thing. When you are using epoxy products for fixing and grouting, remember about special equipment. Wear protective clothing, gloves and glasses. Now, fill the joints completely with the grout by use of an epoxy grout float. After five minutes, emulsify the tile surface with a wetted hydro ground sponge and remove the resulting slurry. Then, smoothen the joint by gently wiping it with a soft sponge. When the grout started to set, clean the joints with a soft sponge and little water. The final cleaning can be done after three hours, but not later than six hours. Sealing. When the grouts have completely dried, seal all connection joints. In some places like the corners, an additional filling is required. In that case, use CS40 expansion joint string. Put the string into the expansion joint and then perform the final silicone sealing. This should be done with a high-quality silicone Ceracid CS25, which is dedicated for sanitary areas. Smoothen the joint, moisture it with a water and soap mixture and remove the excessive silicone with a plastic spatula. For around the critical areas, such as pipe inlets, we recommend to use Ceracid CS29 silicone. For additional protection and impregnation of the joints, apply the transparent impregnation agent CT10. Cover both the joints and the tiles. The public shower is now ready to serve the customers. With Ceracid you can be proud about the result of your work. It is worth doing the job as if I was doing it for myself. Prime the surface. Apply the waterproofing. Fix the tiles on the wall. Fix the tiles on the floor. Grout the joints. Seal with silicone. Impregnate.